Is modesty hottest? Spoiler alert, that's not the question you should be asking. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Isaac David and this is The Daily Disciple where I help you follow Jesus daily. I put out new videos every Thursday, so subscribe down below because you're not going to want to miss any of them at all. Before we get into the video, and trust me, this is going to be a great video. I'm so excited. Um, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. If you don't know about Patreon, uh, it's a way that people can support me and this ministry, help this ministry keep going and growing. So if you want to help support me, on a monthly basis on Patreon, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. Thank you again for everyone who's already on there. Now, on to the video. So if you've grown up in the Christian community or been around Christianity for really any length of time or online Christian culture, you probably have come across the phrase modest is hottest. It's kind of a meme now, um, but for a while there, especially in the early 2000s, it was legit like serious, especially in youth groups and other kind of Christian communities. This was a common thing that people were saying, hey, you know, dress modestly, mainly to girls because modest is hottest. So not only that, but it has also been used as creative inspiration that has led to many amateur Christian music videos. So hang on, I'll get to the problem with modest is hottest in a second, but first you gotta come along with me on this ride. If you do have any cringe protective um, clothing, please put that on because you're gonna need it. We begin with perhaps the most influential uh, <laughs> music video on modesty of this generation. Modesty is hottesty. You won't believe this. Modest is hottest. Modest is hot. Modest is hottest. Modest is hot. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry you had to watch that. Okay. And by the way, I, I realize that these are all jokes, you know. <laughs> I'm not taking some big... Uh, you know, big uh, philosophical take on these uh, on these videos. I know they're jokes, but it is interesting. I, you know, as I play these, pay attention to this this you know this mindset. It's interesting. Okay, next video here. I've debated about showing you this one um, because it is I don't know. Well, looking at this last you know the one we just watched, it might not actually be that bad, <laughs> but it is pretty bad. So let's watch. Hi, Holden. Holden. You know I'm just looking out for you, but your shorts are a little snug. I can't help it, I have a big butt. This is all I brought. Hold on, I feel like your shirt is maybe just a little too low. Do you think you could, you know, put something on that's maybe a few inches? Well, my eyes are up here. <laughs> I've over Hi, Jimin. Hi. What do you think I'm about to tell you? Do you like my shorts? Not quite. I don't know if you've realized it, but your shorts are very short. They're not that short. I just have really long legs, so it looks like they're short. Yeah, they're I have long legs, so I understand. But they're a little bit short, and then you still see your belly. It's okay. That helped, but now it's so, just pull it up a little bit. Yeah, now it's too high. Okay. But this is all I brought. We need to stop that. We need to stop that. That is just, okay. <laughs> okay. Can we, there was like a period of time. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing out of the, the, on the current stuff, but there was a period of time, you know, between 2000 and 2010, where it seems like the, the Christian cringy music video genre was like flourishing. And this, it, okay. So if you were to type in, Modesty is hot in YouTube. These are the type of videos that you're seeing, okay? It is scary stuff. It is frightening. You're like, who are these people? What is the message of this? Why? <laughs> like, who, who? Like, is there a youth pastor behind the camera saying, yeah, 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 he's like written the script himself. You're like, what is going on? Okay, so hold on. I'm still going to get to the point of this, this whole video. I just think it's just funny to get some background on <laughs> this whole idea modesty is hot um there's one more video i want to show you i'm sorry it's the last one but i gotta show it to you and then we'll get to the main point
<laughs> okay. Okay. So, yes, I know they're jokes. They are funny. They're all also extremely cringy. Um, but this is the problem, okay? Modesty is hot. Modesty is hot. This whole the phrase, this concept, this this encouragement, hey, dress modestly because it's actually it's hot. This mentality still has guys as the ones that girls are trying to please. The motivation is still appearing hot to guys. <laughs> we saw this in all the you know, in some of the you know videos or whatever. But even in that last one, it's like Hey, look, you know, guys actually find girls that dress modestly is more attractive. So then you should dress modestly and that should be your main motivation as a Christian to dress modestly when in fact that is totally bogus. You see, so often this conversation around modesty is completely guy, like girl focused, but towards guys. So we're saying, hey, you know, dress modestly because, you know, it's nicer for the guys or guys actually, you know, they think it's hotter too. So you should dress modestly so you can get their, the, the good Christian guy attention or, you know, oh, you should do it. So then they, they won't lust, you know, that's important too. And you're making it completely like focused on guys and what girls need to do for them instead of God. And it's like, if we as Christians are leaving God out of this conversation, what are we doing? And it's so prevalent. Like it's, it, and this is why I want to make this video because I'm like, we are missing out on the main point. What we need to be saying to both girls and guys, no double standard here is that it's God that we are trying to honor in our attitude and attire. So in 1 Corinthians 6, 18, it says this, flee from sexual immorality, every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexual immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, uh, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you are bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. See, we need to dress for God and to honor him, not just for other people, because we are not our own. So the other aspect to this is, hey, we're told to flee sexual immorality, right? So that means lust too. So not lusting after another person. That's talking about guys lusting after a girl, regardless of what, what she's wearing, and girls as well, right? Um, but this also can apply to us as we're thinking, hey, we are, you know, temples of the Holy Spirit. What do we want to wear here to flee sexual immorality? Um, and that would be too, not drawing others into sexual immorality too. That's not an easy cut and dry thing like, hey, don't wear this specific thing or this specific thing. That's difficult to pinpoint, right? So you've seen people that say, hey, I'll, I've only, like the Duggars, right? I'm only going to wear, the girls are only going to wear dresses or whatever. Um, that's what they've decided. Hey, they've discerned that that is what they want to do in order to not, you know, aid in people falling into lust. Whether that's your standard or not, uh, I don't necessarily have an opinion on that. But what I would say is for you and for me, not just girls specifically, but guys too, um, and that's that's a big piece to it, is that we're looking to say, hey, you know what? I don't want to draw the attention on myself. It's a hard issue because if I'm like, I want to get the attention of the opposite sex to think I'm hot, my heart's in the wrong place, right? So this whole modesty is hot thing, it's not addressing the actual heart issue of trying to gain that attention. So maybe your, your move now, and it's just as wrong to dress modestly in order to get other people's attention to focus on you um, because you want to be the center of attention. That could be just as wrong. So in this conversation, let's start focusing more on what God asks of us as opposed to what guys or girls ask of us, right? You can go all day looking at other YouTube videos where it's like, this is a guy's perspective on modesty. This is what I think girls can wear and can't wear and all this kind of thing. And maybe for you as a girl, you want to watch those things to get a little bit more of an insight in what's going through a guy's mind. That can be helpful. But at the end of the day, is it a guy that you're trying to please or is it God? It's ultimately God. And by that, 
that informs your approach to loving other people for both girls and guys. So your love for God informs your love for other people, right? So it's not, I'm just trying to please other people, get other people's attention. It's I've gotten love from God, acceptance from God. I want to honor God. And now that informs the way I dress. And now it is a discernment issue, issue by which I want to flee sexual immorality. And I want to listen to what God's telling me in terms of how I should treat my body and, and how I should uh, ha hold myself in terms of my attitude of trying to, hey, gain people's approval or attention. Um, and, and so I'm, you know what, all these things are being processed and this is kind of the, the area that we're living in now. It's not, hey, I wanna get your attention. I wanna be hot because I wanna, you know, I'm modest. No, it's, it's God, I wanna honor you in this. So I hope you've enjoyed this interesting ride with me as we explore modest is hot. Um, it, I don't know what to say. That's it. That the, the video is over. If you're still around, I don't know what you're doing. But subscribe down below if you haven't already. I like to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. This is such kind of a nuanced issue, um, and so I'm trying to bring some nuance and maybe a more of a, a biblical flavor to this conversation. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed it and got something from it. Uh, as I said, leave a comment down below about what you think. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.